Hello everyone and welcome to the final match in the West Jamaica Conference Bible Beacon Quiz competition. The Bible Beacon Quiz is our opportunity to stay grounded in the Holy Word of God. I am your host, Natalie Ellis. Throughout the season, districts from across the conference embarked on the journey to decide which teams would make it to the finals. And here we are. Today's matchup sees Team Lilliput facing off against Team Genesis of the Glendavon District. At this time, the teams will introduce themselves. Team Lilliput. I am Jareem Charlton. I am Jael Farkinson. I am Dominic Ramnarain. I am Okere Brahma. Thank you, Team Lilliput. Team Genesis. My name is Nathan Gordon. My name is Michaela Brecker. Hi, I'm Michael Graham. I'm Donna Gordon. Thank you, Team Genesis. Also with us today are our judges, Karila Grizzle-Green, Greg Cumry, and Pastor Jermaine Bailey. Only one of these teams will win the competition. Who will it be? Stay with us to find out. The excitement begins after the break. We'll be right back. final match in the West Jamaica Conference Bible Beacon Quiz competition, where we have Team Lilliput facing off against Team Genesis. In our first segment, teams will be asked questions alternately and will receive one point for each correct answer. Points will not be deducted for incorrect answers. Teams will have three seconds to begin answering each question and another five seconds in which to complete the answer. During the break, we had the coin toss, and Team Lilliput won. Here we go. Team Lilliput, your first question. What did the serpent cast out of its mouth in its attempt to destroy the woman? Water. Correct. Team Genesis, what did the earth do to help the woman after the dragon cast out water as a flood? That is... It swallowed the water. Judges, Team Lilliput, complete the popular Bible text in Isaiah 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, the truth is not in them. Team Genesis, Complete the popular Bible text in Revelation 14, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the command commandments of God and have, have, the faith faith of Jesus. Jesus. have the faith of Jesus. Correct. Team Lilliput, look at the monitor and identify this person. Correct. Team Genesis, look at the monitor and identify this person. That is Dr. Andres Peralta, Associate Youth Director of the General Conference. Team Lilliput. In the Bible, how many books are in the Old Testament? 39. Correct. Team Genesis. In the Bible, how many books are in the New Testament? 27. 27. Correct. Team Lilliput. Listen to the following clip and identify the title of the song. Mm -hmm. 
That is wonderful, wonderful peace. peace. That's incorrect. It's the great physician now is near. Team Genesis, listen to the following clip and identify the title of the song. A wonderful Savior, Jesus, my Lord. Incorrect, wonderful peace. Team Lilliput, in what year did the church adopt the name Seventh-day Adventist? 1860. Correct, Team Genesis, in what year was the Seventh-day Adventist church organized? 1863. 1863. Correct, Team Lilliput, who said these words? So will I go in unto the king, which is not according to the law, and if I perish, I perish. Esther. Esther. Correct. Team Genesis. Who said these words? I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. Baptist. He must increase, but I must decrease. John the Baptist. Correct. Team Lilliput. True or false? In Daniel chapter 7, the swift leopard represents the Greek empire established by Alexander the Great. True. True. Correct. Team Genesis. True or false? In Daniel chapter 7, the lion is the most fitting representation of the Medo-Persian Empire. False. false. That's correct. And that brings us to the end of the first segment. We'll take a break and be right back. Are you seeking more out of life? Do you long for deeper meaning? Are you searching for hope and strength? Join us at the Life of Victory Experience starting Saturday, July 20 at 9.15 a.m. at the West Jamaica Conference Auditorium, Mount Salem, Montego Bay. Come and find the answers you seek through powerful Bible-based messages with Pastor Omar Palmer from the Palm Springs Church in Florida. Come, connect with a community that cares. Come and discover your path to victory. Come, your journey begins here. The Life of Victory Experience, Saturday, July 20. Don't miss it. Welcome back to the final match in the West Jamaica Conference Bible Beacon Quiz competition. If you are just joining us, we have Team Lilliput facing off against Team Genesis. The scores are Team Lilliput on six points and Team Genesis on six points. There was a query to a question that Team Genesis was asked and the question was what did the earth do to help the woman after the dragon cast out water as a flood? Their answer was swallowed up the water. We have decided, the judges have decided to accept that and they received that point. In our speed section, each team will be given the opportunity to answer as many questions as they can in two one minute blocks. Teams are allowed to pass on any given question. One point will be awarded for each correct answer. Team Lilliput, your first minute begins now. In Daniel's vision in chapter 8, what does the ram with two horns represent? Cross. Complete the line of this popular Bible verse. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Cross. Look at the monitor and identify this person. Cross. Erton C. Kohler, Secretary of the General Conference. In what year did the 2,300-day prophecy end? 1844. Correct. What happened at the end of the 2,300-day prophecy? Dark day. Okay. Incorrect. Investigative judgment or the pre-advent judgment began. According to Daniel 12, verse 1, who is the great prince that stands, and, that stands watch over the children of thy people? Jesus. And repeat. According to Daniel 12, verse 1, who is the great prince that stands watch over the children of thy people? Jesus. And that ends your first minute, Team Lilliput. Your first minute begins now, Team Genesis. In Daniel's vision in chapter 8, what does the goat that moves without touching the ground represent? Greece. 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 Correct. Complete this popular Bible verse. 
to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it's because they have no light in them. Correct. Look at the monitor and identify this person. Pass, pass. 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 That's Paul Douglas, treasurer of the General Conference. In what year did the 2300 day prophecy begin? 457. 457 BC. Correct. What happened in heaven to signal the beginning of the investigative judgment? Repeat. What happened in heaven to signal the beginning of the investigative judgment? Jesus moved from the holy to most holy place. Jesus, yes. Jesus, Jesus moved, from, moved from, the from one holy, from the holy place into the most holy place. Correct. What event is described as occurring at the time when Michael stands up? The time of trouble. Correct. True or false? The book of Psalms is the longest book in the Bible. Book of Psalms, longest book in the Bible. True. 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 Correct. And that ends your first minute, Team Genesis. Team Lilliput, your second minute begins now. According to Revelation 21, verse 14, whose names are written in the foundations of the wall of the New Jerusalem? The apostles. The apostles. Well, the apostles. Twelve apostles. Correct. Complete the well known Bible verse. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his greatness. Repeat, please. Greatness. Incorrect. Handiwork. Look at the monitor and identify this musical group. Polyphony. 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 Correct. According to Daniel 8, verse 8, what happened to the great horn on the he goat's head? It, it broke off. Correct. Who were Adam's three sons listed in the Bible? Cain, Abel, and Seth. Correct. True or false? Daniel and his three friends decided not to eat the king's food and True. were severely punished True. for making this decision. True. Incorrect. They were allowed to choose their diet for a period of 10 days. Spell the word Bethlehem. B-E-T-H-L-E-H-E-M. Correct. Fill in the blank. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. That ends your second minute, Team Lilliput. Team Genesis. Your second minute begins now. According to Revelation 21, verse 12, whose names are written on the gates of the New Jerusalem? The name of the 12 apostles. The name of the 12 apostles. Incorrect. The 12 tribes of Israel. Complete the well-known Bible verse. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in? The earth. Correct. Look at the monitor and identify this musical group. Testify. 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 Correct. According to Daniel 8, verse 5, what happened to the ram with two horns? Pass. 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 It was defeated by a goat with a notable horn. Who were Noah's three sons? Shem, Am, and Japheth. Correct. True or false? Daniel told Nebuchadnezzar that his dream meant that Babylon would rule the world for thousands of years until Jesus comes. False. False. Correct. Spell the word Philistine. What? P-H-I-L-I-S-T-I-N-E. Correct. Fill in the blank. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but blank. Christ who lives in me. Correct. At the right at the bell. And that is the end of the second minute for Team Genesis and the end of section two of our match. We'll have an update on the scores after the break. Stay with us. Welcome back to the final match in the West Jamaica Conference Bible Beacon Quiz Competition. We have come to the third and final segment of this match between Team Lilliput and Team Genesis. Our latest scores are Team Lilliput on 12 points and Team Genesis on 18 points. In our exciting buzzer section, questions will be thrown out to both teams. And the first team to indicate by the press of the buzzer will be allowed to answer. 
two points will be awarded for each correct answer, and two points will be deducted for each incorrect answer. Teams must wait to be identified before answering the question. Teams will have five seconds in which to answer the questions after being identified. Let us begin. Complete the proverb. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Team Lilliput. The righteous go into him and they are saved. The righteous go into him and they are saved. Correct. Look at the monitor and identify this person. Team Lilliput. Pastor Dane Fletcher. Correct. According to Revelation 10, what was sweet in the mouth and bitter in the belly? The book that... The little book, the little book that John ate. ate. Correct. According to Daniel, what was unique about the little horn that came up among the ten... Team Genesis? Speak like a man. Incorrect. And the question was, according to Daniel, what was unique about the little horn that came up among the ten horns of the fourth beast? And that's eyes like the eyes of man slash mouth speaking great things or mouth speaking blasphemy. True or false, according to Daniel, the stone that was cut out without hands represents the kingdom that God himself... True. True. Correct. Listen to the following clip and identify this song. Lilliput. Team Lilliput. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Judges, what is the name of the Adventist institution that oversees global humanitarian aid and disaster relief efforts? Team Genesis. Adra. Adra. May I have Adventist the Development Relief Agency. Correct. Spell the word crucify. Team Genesis. C-R-U-C-I-F-I-E-D. Correct. Fill in the blank for this popular verse from Galatians. If we live in the blank, let us also walk in the blank. Team Genesis. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Correct. Listen to the following clip and identify this song. Team Lilliput. Trust in the Lord. Incorrect. Tis the blessed hour of prayer. According to the Revelation 15, which song will be sung by those? This. Team Genesis. Correct. What is the name of the Adventist publishing house that publishes religious literature and materials? <laughs> Team Genesis. Is it for um, Inter-American Division? Or P P A I A D P A. I don't know which one of the houses you're talking. Incorrect. The answer is Review and Herald Publishing Association, Pacific Indeed. Press Publishing Association. Who said these words? For where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. <coughs> Team Genesis. Jesus. Correct. Fill in the blank of the Pathfinder's Pledge. I will be pure and blank and... <coughs> Team Lilliput. I will be, I'll be pure, kind and true. Incorrect. Who was the first president of the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists? Team Lilliput. John, John Boynton. Correct. According to Revelation 21, verse 21, what are the streets of New Jerusalem made of? Team Lilliput. Old. Old. Correct. Complete this line of the Pathfinder law. Keep a song. Team Genesis. Keep a song in my heart. Correct. According to Daniel 8.11, what did the little horn do to the daily sacrifices? It seized them or took them away. How many conferences are in the Jamaica Union? Team Genesis. Five. Five. Correct. Look at... And we are at the end of the match. Stay tuned. Our judges will be ready with the final scores after the break. We'll be right back. This program is sponsored by West Jamaica Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, Jamaica Union of Seventh-day Adventists, Josh Media, WCCN, 
SD Designs and Institute of Vocational Education and Skills Training. Welcome back to the final match in the West Jamaica Conference Bible Beacon Quiz Competition. Our final scores for today are Team Lilliput on 20 points and Team Genesis on 32 points. Thank you. Before I continue, there was a query concerning question in the buzzer section that was posed to team Lilliput and it was question number 15 fill in the blank of the Pathfinders pledge I will be pure and blank and blank they answered and pure and kind and true the judges have deliberated and they gave them the point congratulations to our West Jamaica Conference Bible Beacon Quiz 2024 winners, Team Genesis. Well tried, Team Lilliput. As the winners of the inaugural West Jamaica Conference Bible Beacon Quiz competition, Team Genesis will represent the West Jamaica Conference at the Jamaica Union Church Heritage Quiz. Thank you. In the true spirit of Christian fellowship, may both captains come to the fore and shake hands. Thank you for joining us for this exciting match and season. Remember, study to show thyself approved unto God. I'm your host, Natalie Ellis. See you in season two. Welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you all doing this evening? It is my pleasure to welcome you to the West Jamaica Conference Bible Beacon Quiz 2024 Awards Ceremony. I'll be your host for this segment, Tracy Smith-Williams. But guess what? I had to sit on the edge of my seat because it was such a close match. How about you? This evening, we take the time out to give our teams a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the members of our team. To bring us greetings for this well put together function, I now invite Pastor Vincent Rose, Executive Secretary of the West Jamaica Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, to bring us greetings this evening. Thank you so much. The honor, the pleasure is mine this afternoon to greet you on behalf of the administration of the West Jamaica Conference with the astute leadership of our president, Pastor Glenn O. Samuels, our treasurer, Mrs. Marion Barrett Popkin, who is here. And if she is not on the platform, you know Mrs. Popkin. It's not because she's shy. There has to be something else. And so I bring your greetings on their behalf and the directors and all our workers in and across the four parishes that constitute the West Jamaica Conference. We want to commend the organizers of this very inspiring and transformative program. It has educated many and we want to salute our youth leaders, Salute Brother Cordell, uh, those who, the production team, and those who gave leadership in this. I, I want to say something to your friends. This program has reached. I, uh, a few weeks ago, the president, myself, and Mrs. Popkin 
happened to attend a special meeting where officers across the general conference were present. And I heard an administrator of the general conference asking Pastor Samuels about one of the questions that was posed in the quiz, in our quiz. So it tells us that right across the globe, persons are tuning in. I'd like to congratulate all the teams, all the teams that participated in this program. Please understand that the rational, the, the, the aim, the goal of this is not competition. We want to whet the appetite and develop a craving, a hunger, a thirst for the word of God. Because we believe that in times like these, when persons are setting the word of God aside, the church must lift up the word and proclaim it in all the ways that we can. Special congratulations to the Lilliput team and the team Genesis from Glendevon. Now, this is the part where I have told myself I have to be very, very careful. Because you see, as the pastor of the Glendevon circuit, I, ha I, I have to say congratulations and try not to look too happy. I have to curtail uh, the, the enthusiasm. But I want to say congratulations to Team Genesis from Glen Devon for taking the championship. And in the next edition, in the next edition, we want to have teams from across the conference territory because we want the word to go to the length and breadth of this territory. Once again, commendations, con congratulations, and greetings. Thank you so much, Pastor Rose. Now we'll move on to the exciting part that you have been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, this team burnt the midnight oil, had multiple study sessions, and they worked tirelessly to the end. Ladies and gentlemen, to receive an award, a trophy, as well as a well-decorated check, we're going to be inviting this awesome team, and I call them Team Lilliput, from the Lilliput District of Churches, to join us on stage at this moment. So members of the Lilliput team, they are joining us on stage at this moment. And I'm going to be asking our treasurer, Sister Marion Barrett Popking, to do the honors for us in presenting the, this, these certificates to them. Assisting us as well is Sister Shorna Myrie. So the members of the Lilliput team, we call them Team Lilliput. We have Jail Farkison. Keep the applause going. Dominique Ramnarine. These members of the team, they worked real hard and they studied. Coming up next, joining Team Lilliput and representing well, Akir Bremo. Keep the applause going. Jareem Charlton. Keep the applause going, Team Lilliput. And also on reserve, we also have Jehoro Farkasson. Come up, Jehoro, you are part of the team. You made this dream a reality. Congratulations to all the persons here. And guess what? Besides the certificates and the gifts that they have received, we also have something extra special to give to them to show them our appreciation. They didn't expect this, but guess what? This evening, Team Lilliput 
walks away with a whopping, a whopping, guess what? That's right. This evening, Team Lilliput walks away with a whopping 2500. Can I add some more? Zero, 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 zero. All right, it's just, you will see how much it is. But we want to congratulate Team Lilliput for this awesome adventure that they went forward to. So they are big, taking their picture moment now with the, ch the check of $25,000. And then afterwards, we'll be asking Sister Myrie to hand them the second place trophy. Keep the applause going. Team Lilliput. They worked real hard. Jail Farkison, Dominique Ramnarine, Akir Bremo, Jareem. Charlton and Jehora Farkerson. We also want to take the time out to congratulate the coaches as well for the awesome tasks that they have put in. The awesome work that they have put in so far. To the supporters, we thank you so much for rallying behind Team Lilliput for this great evening and for this great event. The next group I would like to introduce to you, also worked tirelessly. They met for study sessions on WhatsApp group calls, sometimes even past 10 p.m. They buzzed and buzzed and studied until they couldn't study anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the West Jamaica Bible Beacon stage, the champions. Team Genesis from the Glenavon District of Churches. Keep the applause going. Team Genesis, they went all the way, won all their matches for all the rounds, and they're victorious this evening. Come on, keep the applause going. Team Genesis from the Glenavon Seventh-day Adventist Church, the District of Churches. The names are... Donna Gordon. Now, Donna Gordon is also a team member as well as coach, captain, mother, father, everything to the group. That's Donna Gordon. Next, we have Michaela Brackett. Michaela Brackett. Making Team Genesis and representing well, we have Mikhail Graham. Keep the applause going. These are the members who stayed up late at night. Even when they had schoolwork to do, they really found the time. Next, we have Nathan Gordon. Nathan Gordon. Peter K. Malcolm. Peter K. is unavoidably here. So we have another member of the team. That's Deborah Johnson. Team leader, team supporter, everything representing this evening. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Team Genesis from the Glendavon District of Churches. But guess what? We couldn't send them home empty-handed as well. To the members, to Team Genesis, we're going to be asking Sister Marion to do what she does best. And we have a great award to give to the team members of Team Genesis. These persons deserve this, and guess what? They'll be walking away with a whopping $50,000 this evening. Please put your hands together, Team Genesis. And guess what? Not only that, but the first place trophy. Look at it. Look at the amazingness. Keep the applause going. So that's the team leader and captain and coach of Team Genesis Collecting. Ladies and gentlemen, this award ceremony, the West Jamaica Bible Beacon Quiz Competition, is one of a kind and put together with you in mind. 
as we celebrate this evening the accomplishments of Team Genesis, Team Lilliput, this competition cannot go unnoticed without the contribution from the other teams that participated in the Baba Beacon Quiz competition for 2024. We had teams from the Flankers District, that's Mercury, the Santa Cruz District, Betheltown SDA, Mount Carey SDA, Team Hanover, the Salt Spring District, the Sandy Bay District, Harrison Memorial High, as well as Welcome Hall. We ask that you'll give these other teams a round of applause because all these teams made it possible for the Western Maker Bible Beacon Quiz Competition to be a success. Congratulations to you again. And I'd also like to thank Sister Bowers for assisting with the presentation, as well as Sister Myrie. Other persons would like to congratulate this evening are administrators of the West Jamaica Conference. Please put your hands together for these persons. The planning committee members, including the AY leaders, the Federation team, from the various parishes. The West Jamaica communication team members, they worked tirelessly. Participants from across the various conferences. Our sponsors, this event could not happen without you. The West Jamaica Conference, Jamaica Union, Invest, Josh Media, and SB Designs. This competition could not have been possible without our producer, Mr. Cordell Brown. Mr. Cordell Brown came up with this idea, threw it out to a number of persons, and guess what? We stand proud of this product this evening. To our quiz scribes and judges, they're in the audience. We have a few of them here. I'd like to make mention of these judges and quiz scribes. Joshia Lawrence Brown, Please stand and be recognized. We have Elder Greg Comrie, Pastor Yuzel Parks, Pastor Stephen Drummond, Carilla Grizzle Green, Pastor Jermaine Bailey, and yours truly. But guess what? I couldn't leave you empty handed because you also made this happen. To you, our amazing supporters and the management of the West Jamaica Conference of Seven Adventists. We say thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for yourself. You have also spread the word and allowed this to happen. Thank you for making Bible Beacon 2024 a success. But guess what? The West Jamaica Bible Beacon Quiz Competition 2025 is going to be an epic one. Get your teams ready as we study to show ourselves approved unto God. I'm Tracen Smith-Williams. Have yourselves a blessed evening. <laughs>